Hey, my brother, I see you read the Bible a lot. I have a question for you. What question? Uh, who is Jesus Christ? Everybody always asks that question, man. Who is Jesus Christ? And nobody ever want to know the answer. That, that question delves into many different forms, many different ways, or many different thoughts. But if you're talking about biblical, the word Jesus Christ means anointed Savior. That's number one, what the word Jesus Christ means. Number two, he is a man. Okay, he's not an angel. Uh, he's a man that was born of the tribe of Judah, of the nation of Israel. Now, the Israelites are people of color. So he is a black man according to the Bible. So when you go to the book of Revelation, the first chapter, the 14th and 15th verse, it clearly tells you that it gives you a description of the color of his skin. Now, why his tribe? Because the nation of Israel had many different brothers of the family, and the brothers had sons that made up tribes. So the man called Moses that, worked, that wrote the five books, which is called the Torah, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, he wrote those books. He's of the tribe of Levi. Okay, Christ now is like his cousin because Christ is of the tribe of Judah. Judah is a man of who that line all the way. So King David was of the line of Judah. Solomon, King David's son, is of the tribe of Judah. So when you track Matthew, the first chapter, it gives you the lineage or the genealogy of this man who end up coming through Joseph, having sex with Mary, producing this man. Now, this man now, in physical form, is spiritually the son of the Most High. The Most High is the being that people call God or whatever titles they attribute this being that they say that they know or claim to be. What time am I running on? Eight. Eight minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Okay, so let me know when it's five. Mm -hmm. Good. So this man now came down as fulfilling the Levitical laws of the sacrificial lamb. He came down to be our high priest. Okay? He came down to sacrifice his blood to take us out of the captivity period that we're in. He's also coming back scripturally, if you believe the scriptures, to come back and save us from this hell that we put ourselves into under the hands of our enemies, okay? He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the, uh, there are many different things that he is, um, okay, cool, as far as he's going to come back to rule. So if you go in the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, he's coming back to rule Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. His kingdom shall never be taken down. He's going to bring peace upon the earth. There's going to be no more war. Um, the Israelites are going to change under him. We're going to physically change, spiritually change. If you go in the book of Acts, the first chapter, the disciples ask them, will you now take down the nations and put Israel back on top? That's what he's going to do when he returns. He's going to take these nations down that are ruling now, America and all these nations, and the nation of Israel, people of color, okay? He's going to put them back on top once we are cleaned up, okay? Cleaned up while in thought, physicality. We're not going to be sick anymore. We're not going to, go, we're not going to have no diseases anymore, Um we're not going to have no hatred amongst each other anymore. The tribes is going to be back together. And he's going to put us back in our own land, our own government. We're going to rule. He's going to make us the God. So if you go to the book of John, the 10th chapter, and the 34th and 35th verse, he said, Know ye not that you Israelites are gods? And I tell you so, but you shall die like men. So how are we dying now like men? We're killing each other in madness, sadness, grief, loneliness, drugs, colors, all these different things. So he's going to bring the elevation of the brotherhood that everybody's always talking about, you know, black and black and black to Africa and black power. No, that's going to be done away with. So that's who Christ is in a short synopsis. Peace. Stop.